Y'all spoke the other day a little bit about coon trapping with cage traps. This is a different type of trap. This is called a grizz getter. That's, and there's numerous forms of this trap, but this, the company's name is actually grizz getter. You know, we don't endorse any specific company, but we just want to show you this type of trap. All right, the good thing about this trap, it catches the coon way down the paw. A coon will chew his foot off if caught in a foothold. This one he can't. The thing about this trap is there's a little trigger mechanism in here. The coon has to pull up on this thing to release the trap. To set this trap, you squeeze it in, and it's hard to set with gloves on, but, and then you stick it right in that little lock. And then I like to pull it down just a tad, put on a hair trigger. The best thing about this trap, will be sad, you can stick 40 of them in a backpack and go, is the coon has to reach down on a lever and pull up instead of push down. So, dogs can't set this trap off. A cat could, but a dog, if it smells it, can mess with this thing. Finally sets it off. You have to do a lot of work to set that thing off. So, when you have this thing set, what I like to do is use something very simple. I'll take a marshmallow, shove it down in that hole below the trigger and put a little bit of, this is what we use and I'm sure no one wants to buy this by the gallon. This is just fish oil. You can get it from any trapping company. You can go online and get this. That'll last someone trying to catch a single coon about 40 years. What I would recommend sardines. Simple, stink, a lot of smell, work really good. And the, this is about 65 cents. So you take a few sardines. We got one in the ground right here. You have the one marshmallow down in the bottom. The reason I use the marshmallow in the bottom, ants don't go down there and tote it all off. Plus the coon grabs it and keeps pulling on that marshmallow. And then when he pulls on the marshmallow, it's below that trigger goes off. So I would stick one down in there. I'd probably put one or a piece just on top and stick one out and then take some of the juice from these sardines, put it on all that and maybe put a piece of the sardine down in there in a little bit just to keep them interested. Or you can take the fish oil and pour it around here. If you're really trying to catch a coon, a great way to get that scent is take a little bit of that smell and stick it about three feet up in a tree. What that does is that scent disperses out better than if it's just on the ground. So it'll really suck him in pretty fast. And he goes down there and he sets this thing off. You can see we already got it set, but it's tight in the ground. You want it tight because you don't you want that trigger to come up easy. So we'll say it's been set off. It's been staked in the ground. Right there. You can put that stake here or here. That way the coon can't get away. But if he does pull it off, we have a backup plan. He's anchored off to a tree. And usually when you walk up to that coon, he's gonna be holding on right here. This trap, <laughs> you need to walk in with a firearm. Don't go in trying to get a coon out of this trap with a catch pole. If you choose to do that, uh, that coon will be sent to the lab for rabies testing and you're going to get three shots and they're probably going to hurt and they're about $1,600. Go in with a firearm, humanely shoot it in the head, you'll probably be good. Otherwise, you're not going to get this thing to release the coon right there with that thing sitting in there. Otherwise, that coon's going to be stuck on the top of your head, ripping your face apart. So remember that these traps require a firearm to use. Don't go in with a catch pole or anything else. If you're using this trap, realize you are going to be euthanizing the animal. So be prepared to do so. Don't leave, if you leave your firearm at the house, go back and get it. Because that'll be the one time you catch it. So it was, again, these are called grizz getters. Great. Dogs can't get in them. Easy to set. 
easy to hide, and your neighbors can't see them if you hide them really good.